Hello and welcome back to Good Chicken Teaching Resources. Do you like adventure? Do you like humor? Do you like stories with zombies in it? Well then I have the book for you. This is called The Last Kids on Earth. It's the first in a series. So great news if you love this one. There's more to read. And it is the story of Jack Sullivan and his friends Dirk, Quint, and June. 42 days ago in their little town, all of a sudden, all these monsters and zombies have appeared, and they are the only humans left in their town. And they have to figure out how to survive and how to work together in order to do it. And it is a lot of fun. So this book, it is a chapter book, but it includes illustrations throughout. Like here's a, um, here's a diagram, there's a lot of diagrams a lot of um, just illustrations of what's going on or things in um, Jack's imagination. Jack has a great imagination. He's a really fun narrator. I like Jack a lot. So I'm going to read you the beginning of the book and show you some of the images from the beginning. That's me, not the giant monster beneath the giant monster, the kid on his back with the splintered bat, the handsome kid about to get eaten. Forty-two days ago, I was regular Jack Sullivan, 13-year-old, living an uneventful life in the uninteresting town of Wakefield. I was totally not a hero, totally not a tough guy, and totally not fighting giant monsters. But look at me now, battling a gargantuan beast on the roof of the local CVS. Life is crazy like that. Right now, the whole world is crazy like that. Check the shattered windows. Check the wild vines crawling up the side of the building. All of these things are not normal. And me, I haven't, I haven't been normal. Well, ever. I've always been different. See, I'm an orphan. I bounce all over the country, different homes, different families, before landing in this little town of Wakefield in December. But all that moving, it makes you tough. It makes you cool. It makes you confident. It makes you good with the girls. It makes you Jack Sullivan. Oh, crud! Incoming monster fist! And there's Jack, and there's the monster on top of the CVS. All right, so I'm going to stop there. If you want to learn more about Jack's adventures or how he gets out of this scrape with this monster, you're just going to have to pick up the book yourself. Please like this video and subscribe to Good Chicken Teaching Resources to get more great book recommendations.